You ready? <laughs> you ready? You ready? You ready? Damn. Damn. <laughs> what? because when I do my little polls or whatever, y'all can see your questions. So yeah, we're just gonna jump straight into it. First question, how do you handle trust issues? Me personally, I don't really handle them because I feel like loyalty is a big thing. I'm a Leo. That's the main thing. We are loyal to the core of jump when we born. So if you don't match our loyalty, like I can't fuck with you. So trust issues, I got them, but I always give the person the benefit of the doubt. Like a new relationship, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. But as soon as the first lick of You and I would never trust you again. Oh, it's bad. That's it. That explains everything you need to know. Don't trust shit. Trust issues are bad. We don't trust anybody. Oh, I always give the person the benefit of the doubt. Guilty to proven innocent. Oh, really? Loyalty yeah. or anything. If I can't trust you, there's not. There's, there's. I'm sorry. I might say, oh yeah, we can work on it, and I. It's not gonna happen. Side eye. It's not gonna happen. It's gonna be very, very, very hard for me to trust you again when I don't trust you. I handle it by removing myself. What's the hardest thing about sex after giving birth? I was so scared to have sex. Oh yeah, me too. I was so scared. One, I had a C-section. Oh, oh, see, so you had a C-section. Yeah. I popped out my coop. I mean, my, my <laughs> vagina. I'm not gonna say the word. You yeah, like I don't like that word. <sighs> but yeah, yeah. that shit, I was so, scared. after the fact, um, how did you feel? Like, being that you had a C-section, you didn't really have any, like, and they come out your shit. Oh yeah, I was fine with that. Yeah, poor penetration. Yeah, it's fine. You didn't have no was problem. I scared? No, because my son was planned. So like before then, pull out game. I knew I wasn't gonna have no more kids unless we said we have another kid. Damn. Yeah, so it wasn't. I was, I was just scared of how it was gonna feel. I was scared. I mean, I, went I mean, yeah. I don't think I. I don't think I could be scared because nothing came out of me. Yeah, that's a different type of fear. Really? What did, were you scared that you were gonna like? I mean, I didn't tear when I had Kai, so let me know if yeah, I didn't tear at all. So why were you scared? I'm just like- Is it gonna thing, feel different? Yeah, no, <laughs> like, just imagine your whole stretching and it's yeah, like- Yeah, I mean, I wanted oh, it so bad. I wanted to, I wanted to experience like a natural birth so bad. I was just scared. No, I was just scared as far as like the pressure of it being that like, it was just so sensitive. Like even when I sat down, I couldn't even sit on my ass. Like I just had to like sit oh. sideways. Yeah, see, I don't know because I didn't like, have a baby come out of it. It was so sore. Really? It was an ongoing irritation of soreness. Like it didn't hurt, it was just sore. And I was just like so uncomfortable. But you know what's crazy though? After you get a C-section, they still make you take care of your vagina like as if you they came out of you. Really? Yeah, I still have to do like the little squeeze after you pee. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I've never done that though. Yeah. What's something that's unforgivable in a friendship or relationship? Ooh. Trust. Yeah, definitely. Once you make me lose trust, trust in you, yeah, it's unforgivable. It's, there's no. Okay, unforgivable in a friendship. Yeah, unforgivable. I feel like if you put my life in danger, if you mm. put my son's life in danger, mm. or if you do something that makes me lose trust in you, that's yeah. unforgivable. I don't want to be friends with you. The life one is crazy. Yeah, yeah, and like relationship is just trust. Trust. Period. If you break the trust, there's that's unforgivable. It's just hard. It's yeah, it's hard, hard to trust you. Definitely. It could work though. It just has to be like. It could work, but you have to be a very, very strong consistent person. That shit Me is not personally, no. That shit is technically oh, did it. I did it. I tried. Right, you tried. In dumb bitch moment came. Have you ever faked an orgasm? Definitely. I've never faked an orgasm. Really? Me personally. Orgasm or just. I've never faked an orgasm. Mm -hmm. No, that's the question. Have you faked an orgasm? Any body ever had sex with that did not satisfy me, I'm stopping you. As soon as I feel like you're not satisfied, stop. Really? Yeah, that's enough. There's no more. You're not even gonna get your nuts. Or I just tried to do the most for them to like hurry up and finish. Me? Oh. Yeah, but I faked it, but in my head I was like, this will never happen again. Yeah. Oh my god, this ain't never happening again. I'm very big on sexual attraction, so it's just like, if you're not doing it for me. See, in my life, there's only been about like three people who have done it for me. 
Mine's two. Really? Three, bitch. Yeah, it's looking like really like. Let me see one. <laughs> I feel like I will only mess with two of them out the three. I would mess with all three of them. Oh my god. <laughs> if it's been blocking in for that moment, oh, I'm down. Pretty only one is gonna block. Suck me out. Do what you want. Like, We're not doing nothing else. Yeah. Don't get on lovey dovey. Oh, on our behalf. Me personally. Um, you like lovey dovey? Yes, I love a relationship. That's probably just because that's all I know is relationship. I was in a seven year relationship since I was 14 years old. I was married. Time, basically, I was married. down there. So that's all I know is relationship. I love to be in a relationship. Did you get your first spot? Yes. Oh, that's hell. <laughs> she ain't no chips. I mean, it was a point in time after my relationship ended, like I liked having the free for all because I've never had that. I, in high school, I couldn't go like, like a beautiful thing. Yeah, but now my like no, now okay. I love free for all. Now as we're getting older, no. But back high school, yeah. Like, after my relationship, oh free for all, I was. Don't take good. that out of context either, because I know you. Oh, I wasn't sexy, everybody. I wasn't just. Calm I wasn't down, sexy, everybody. Okay. My roster was a cool seven. <laughs> you got the Yes, yeah, the roster was a seven, and I was letting them know, oh, I'm, I'm not your girlfriend. I don't like you like that. Like we're friends, we can kiki ha ha, baby this, baby that. No, we're not having sex, and no, you're not my man. That's why I don't like that no more. Because I can't give my energy out. Because me, since I'm relationship type, once they start showing me that they like me too, oh, I want to be with you. And they don't want to be with me. It actually turned me off that they want to be with me after. Oh. I'm just like. See, I like relationships. No. You <laughs> have sex, they're like, okay, you want to be my girlfriend? No, that's why I know I will make an amazing wife. I want us to be now. Now I'm getting older, I want one. Yeah, I want to I'm not free for all. Now I'm really like no. relationship. I want basic shit. Like, I'm like. Yeah, I'm not free for all in that all. I want to be like just with one person. Yeah. Is it normal to not get turned on during sex? I think in general. Like in general. In general. We're going to say in general. I feel like it's very normal not to get turned on. Okay, but it's, what about sexual attraction kind of like towards a guy? Is it normal to not get turned on? Yes, it is. I'm I feel like we can be in that moment and then I get turned on. Okay. Yeah. Because it's just like my body just don't be feeling it sometimes and it's just like thinking about it i'm like Ugh, i don't really like you like that when i'm doing all this but see me personally i want to put myself in that position if i know i'm gonna get turned off no i don't put myself in that position but you know just like you be talking to people and you know you just got some guys you talk to and they just like you can tell they got sexual attraction towards you, but you oh yeah definitely that sexual and they I mean, see, be like they make little hints that I'm you Leo. know they're i'm a leo like, i love to flirt with people but it's like me i'm not flirting because I want you. It's just for, for fun. Like, my, I'm very good with my words and they come really fast. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if I'm flirting with you. You're gonna take it as I'm flirting. But you're just talking. Yeah, I'm just talking. That's just, I'm just me. I'm just players. <laughs> hey, just vibe. Just vibe. Shorty. Like but yeah. they gonna take it as I want you. And I don't want you like I want that. you. I'm just a vibe. Just vibe. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, sometimes I do for, flirt for fun, though. Should you masturbate when you're in a relationship? As a boy's perspective, sure. If that's something mm -hmm. you want to do. I feel like males masturbate yeah, since they were like, like 11. Girl, that's right. Right. Like, I mean, that's normal for you. That's normal. Like me personally, I ask people who I'm dealing with, like, oh, what's the last time you masturbated? And I feel like as a grown man, they'd be like, uh. Like, nigga, we know that you do. We know that you do. Right. Be so, so I just want to know. <laughs> but like me personally, I don't do that. I don't know. <laughs> I love my rose. Have you got a rose? Oh, a rose. She's a beautiful. She's a beautiful I, I'm not going to get one because I heard that they can cause, cause nerve damage. You know, I tried to scared. stop because I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to stop? I tried, but like, she didn't feel great. But I would do it often though. It's like here and there. How do you feel about a girl's body count? I don't, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you were thinking you were asking a male this question, but I don't care. Okay, I feel like if you like sex, you like sex. As long as you're clean and healthy and you take care bro, of your body, I don't care. As long as you are taking care and you're making sure you're getting checked up on. As a as a woman, do what you want to do. Who cares? Honestly. As many as you like, want how many. Do not let society be like. Like, we don't care what these oh. males think about us. How do you feel about girls' body count? I don't care. If you oh. like sex, you like sex, go yes. have it. Do it. I don't care. Don't fuck it. No, 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 no. No matter what, you slut shame. What's the best way to get over an ex? <laughs> Act like they die. I mean, yeah, you could do delete that. Delete them off everything. You never see their face, never hear them. Definitely them. Like, delete them. Like, cut off, off social contact. Social media, yeah, all contact, all connections, anything. Cut them. They, I, 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 I thought they died. 
For you're sure. gonna cry when somebody yeah. dies. You have a period of time in your life where you're crying. You go through the same stages. And your friends bring them up, or anybody bring them up, tell them to stop doing that shit. Right. Don't bring up nobody's. I be trying to bring them up, and you kind of. I be seeing you'd be like deflecting the situation. <laughs> like you don't even like. <laughs> Nicole Hall is just weird. The ass is not right now. Sometimes it's not necessary anymore. But like, I still count her as somebody. Oh. Yeah. Got turned up. Damn. You got to ask for more. Sit up. Get up. Get up. All right, y'all. So the camera had died. I don't really remember what we were talking about. How do you feel about birth control? Um, I've never been on birth control in my life. I've been on depo. It's, I didn't like it. What is that? Depo, the shock that goes in your butt. Okay, y'all hit the dryer. My bad. I'm not getting enough to turn it off and blow it. I got it because I didn't want to have another baby. Birth control? Um, I never got a birth control for one. My son's dad's aunt is a nurse and she was telling me how bad birth control was like all of my life. Her and on top of like um, when I was in college, my bio teacher was telling me like um, how bad birth control was for your body. It is. So it's I've like, never, yeah. ever in my life been a birth control. Still to this day, I haven't been a birth control. It fucked me up while I was like, That's what I'm saying. I lived for like three months straight. Really? Yes. Oh my stop. God. Literally, birth control is just like mimicking you're pregnant without being pregnant. Yes. So you're having the hormones, having the weight Bro. gain, having the cravings, everything. And the medicine is so thick going into like, you can feel how You get a shot every month? No, every three months. Oh. Never thought I would see a day I was getting locked up. <laughs> Personally, <laughs> it's okay. I love you, baby. Thank you. Your baby love me. He loves you. <laughs> I think that he loves you. Well, how do you handle insecurities? Damn. Ooh. I don't handle them. They're just there. I know. <laughs> I know. I now no, me now like I'm journaling a lot. So oh, yeah, like, that's a good thing. He learning like myself and my insecurities. Yeah. I'm just more so on being so more in tune with myself. That's what I was gonna say. In tune with like they're not really insecurities for me. Yeah, like, they're not. It's just not like, okay, that's just me. Yeah, that's just me, but I'm working on to be better. Like yeah. I just know like okay, it's nothing really Everyone wrong. Everyone has insecurities. Of course, nothing really wrong. Yeah, I feel like as you get older you realize like your insecurities are like minimal. They're not it's like they're, they're not as big as they are. Thought. I swear to God, I yeah. Got. So you feel like, damn, I'm too big or I'm too skinny or I'm too tall, I'm too short. When like, you get older, you realize, like, oh, matter. it doesn't matter. Me personally, I was so insecure of my feet growing up. Really? Like, insecure is the. That was like my biggest insecurity. But what I did was, I started wearing sandals all the time. Like, I made myself, like, really? you are like, okay. embrace because, like, your feet. People's feet are worse than mine. I'm not saying my feet are ugly, it's just <laughs> my feet are skinny. Like, my, I feel like my toes are so skinny. I got you, but you embraced your too. You embraced yeah, your Yeah, like my feet are only. I've seen people with worse feet. Mine's probably my eyes. Cause like, I used to get teased a lot. It's got big eyes? Yeah. But I they're not that big I used to people. get teased a lot. So I used See? to be like, damn, okay. Like, <laughs> like, now it's like, you know. Now, I yeah, see. now like, niggas be like, I love your eyes. Like, right, like, niggas be having my feet in its mouth. So right. Like, <laughs> yeah, I like when you look at me and you <laughs> And I know for a fact my feet not ugly because I mess with this nigga with a foot fetish. And you like your feet? My toes is in his mouth. Yeah, yeah, it was like so me like, eyes and probably being skinny. But like, yeah, I being, my, being yeah. skinny. Being yeah, skinny. That my body, I raised it now. Now I just be like, okay. Now I'm not skinny. Though. Like back then, oh, slip thick with my cute ass. Bitches yeah, be like, oh my god, you're so skinny. I just learned to hit them with shit like that they felt wasn't as rude. Because I feel like you're telling somebody they're skinny and we see it every day. Now I'm gonna be like, okay, and your stomach is fat. I told somebody that, but me personally, I just feel like do it because they don't look at it like, oh, you're skinny. They don't look at it as That's rude. That's just the They don't think thing. it's rude. They just think it's regular. Oh, yeah. It's offensive to us. Yeah, especially when you feel like you're skinny. You know, you skinny. know you're skinny. That's just how when someone's like, oh, you're fat. It's yeah. Like, it's you don't want nobody telling you that. Yeah. Like, bitch, I see myself yeah. every day. Yeah. Like, when you are skinny, skinny, that is the thing. Because it's when, expensive. when I was younger, I used to be super skinny. Like, and mom was pointing out. I mean, yeah, they like, oh, you are so you skinny. Know, you don't got nothing like elbows. And then when I was like middle school, high school, it's like I'm seeing girls with hips, thighs, ass. And I'm skinny like a little boy. I'm like, uh, I used to be. So I was scared, but they point that shit out a lot. So sometimes yeah. you got advice. Just tell them the shit that you feel like is insecurity to them. They're big or they got something. I mean, 
yeah. good person. You gotta I tell me. Only funny. people gonna know how you feel unless you put the shoe on their foot. I feel like your insecurities so. are only big to yourself. Yeah, but no, they are definitely. They're only big to yourself. Other people, people don't even some care. Some people love the things you may think. You know what's crazy though? Most niggas do. Yeah, they do. Like most like, men who like your body like your body. They love your body. And it's I just like, like, oh, I'm just so oh, skinny, okay. and they're like, I like that. I like you look good. Right. Like, okay. okay. My toes be in their mouth. Look at them little big. Look at them little big. Mm. Okay. 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 Well, I've been past that. Okay. Last question. Last question. Um, it says my guy of four years cheated and hasn't reached out to say anything. Should I move on? Definitely. Definitely. First of all, he didn't care how you felt when he cheated on you. So him not reaching out, wanting to beg and plead and take take me back type shit. He don't care. Like it, you got at this point, you just have to say sorry to yourself. You have to basically, yeah, accept the apology that he's never gonna give you. Probably. Not even that, ever. say but sorry to yourself for allowing him to even be in your life. Like, but it's a lesson learned. You learn things as you go, you know. Sometimes some shit is meant to happen to, right. like you said, mold you into the person you are. Sometimes vitamin D milk is not good. I don't drink cow milk. There you go. So don't cry over cow milk, get you some almond. <laughs> <laughs> Camera's about to fucking die again. Whatever, this is it. This is done. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you made this far, you're not going to subscribe. Woo! Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Yes, Joe, no, she just keep it up with Joey. And on that.